Hi guys, let's discuss how to deal with lack of motivation. And in today's video, I will share my actionable tips and actionable steps on what do I do when I feel like, or actually when I don't feel like doing anything. And before we get into reasons why I feel I experience lack of motivation and my actionable steps that I usually take, I wanted to mention that we can't have 100% motivation all the time. That's at least what I personally think. So motivation can get us going when we have an idea and we are motivated to start doing something or when we are in the process and we get the feeling of the traction of what we are doing or we like the process itself or we like what we are creating, we can get motivated. But it doesn't mean that we are motivated 100% of time, uh, 100 uh, days out of 100 days. So it's okay sometimes not to feel motivated and just do what we need to do. I do cleaning even though I'm not motivated to do it most of the times because I know that it will make me feel good in the future. I brush my teeth even though I'm not motivated to do it both in the morning and in the evening when I'm especially tired, but I still do it because I know that this routine helps me to be healthy. I did have jobs which I didn't feel quite motivated to do, but I knew that I needed to pay my bills and support myself financially. So it's the thing that I still had to do and it's fine, it's okay. But motivation is something that I look forward to and I would like to have it in my daily life. And let's get into the ideas how to get it back when we are losing it. And the very first thing I check is my sleep in the last couple of days or even couple of weeks because sleep is affecting nearly all of the aspects of our life and it's responsible for our productivity for our energy levels for our creativity for how we communicate with other people and of course for our motivation as well so there are two things that i usually check one of them is the quantity of sleep so i know that i need around eight hours of sleep and Whenever I have a chance to work uh, 30 minutes more or 30 minutes less but go to sleep and not uh, just stay in social media or do something else around the home, I try to choose going to sleep 30 minutes earlier because I know this will have a long-lasting effect on the next day. And in the next day I will do many more things and I will do them more quickly and I may be more motivated the next day if I have enough sleep. The other thing that I check is the quality of the sleep because it is also very important. Have you had a situation when you were sleeping like, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 hours, but still felt uh, a bit broken, a bit um, not concentrating on something was off? And that's because the quality of the sleep wasn't at its best. And here the actionable steps would be eliminate the screen time in the evening for at least uh, several hours before going to bed, eliminate uh, caffeinated drinks in the afternoon and alcoholic drinks in the afternoon because they affect the quality of our sleep. And also to ensure that you have good uh, room conditions in your bedroom, like having a darker environment, having a bit lower temperature so that you could go into sleep and have good productive <laughs> sleep. The second thing I look into when I don't feel very motivated is my nutrition. And I'm not a dietitian and I'm not a nutritionist and a doctor, but I do notice that when I don't have enough vegetables in my diet or enough water in my diet, I feel more sleepy and less enthusiastic about things. So I do notice that when I have more uh, fried food, more carbs, uh, more sweets, I have those uh, swings of being energetic and being sleepy and being energetic and that's not helping me to be motivated because uh, I'm trying to cope with those swings of my energy. And what I do here is I try to come back to my normal nutrition and for me it is normal to have a lot of vegetables in my diet, to have a lot of water, but sometimes uh, because of the life situations I can forget or I can get too tired and choose the wrong um, products in the grocery store. So I consciously come back to my salads, to my vegetables, to my water intake, 
and uh, this helps me a lot and it really makes me to feel better and as a result more motivated as well the check number three that i do when i don't feel motivated is i check if the goal is really mine because when the goal is not truly ours and we don't understand uh, within us why do we have to work on it and why do we have to spend our energy and time and effort then we don't really feel like doing it and we put it aside for longer and procrastinate a lot and i have a separate video with uh, 11 reasons why we don't reach our goals and it could be a good resource if you feel that there are too many goals that you don't feel like doing but here yes i usually go and ask myself if this goal is really mine or how important this goal is to me personally the actionable step here would be to go to the root cause of why are you not motivated to do this particular thing is this your goal or not or maybe what's disturbing you on the way to achieving something that you want or maybe you don't really want it and something happened on the way of setting the goal so yeah ask yourself this question why many times until you actually find the reason check number four that i do when i don't feel really motivated is i'm actually surprised i'm doing it only on the fourth step is i look at the clutter around me and it means both physical and uh, mental and electronic uh, and digital clutter around me as a whole because when we have too many things uh, in our site um, on our phone too many items on our desktop it means that uh, our attention is uh, spread very thin on those things and i usually find myself thinking that oh, i have to clean this or what's that or maybe i need to read this book this um, on my sofa and uh, there are so many things i would like to do with the things that i see that i forget and maybe i'm tired to get working on the things that i truly want whenever i want to be very focused i usually try to eliminate all the clutter would be physical or digital and focus on one thing and here what i do it's either i declutter if i feel like i have too many things that are unnecessary or i just tidy up and i put all the things uh, on their places and this is how i create a space for myself to think another aspect to this point is that i notice that my most creative time my most uh, insightful time is when i don't clutter my mind with anything around me for example i get most of the ideas when i am um, in the shower so my brain is wandering and i don't listen to any music and i don't listen to any podcast or anything and i am just free to think of whatever comes to my mind and i get a lot of ideas it's the same when i do some running so i run and i don't listen to music i don't listen to any podcast because I just focus on the thoughts that I have in my mind and this is how I get many ideas that I would love to implement and I get so motivated after my run or after taking a shower that I would love to come and start working on them. With this I just want to remind that we don't have to put information into our brain all the time and sometimes we need to just let it wander and make it work on its own and make it generate some ideas and get motivated. The next check I do when I don't feel very motivated is i look back at my day at my week at my month and try to remember the time when i did my hobbies which don't bring me anything but just joy of the process of doing so we do have to do something that brings us joy and it doesn't have to be related to our projects our work our studies or doing something good for other people that's the way it sounds, I don't know. So we have to ensure that we spend some quality time with ourselves. So would it be a drawing, I don't know, knitting, uh, reading a book, just going for a walk, uh, watching a movie. So something that excites personally you. And I remember I heard this uh, advice many years ago uh, when I just started my job and I was very passionate about um, getting into company it was company of my dream and I was working very hard and most of the evenings and weekends I was spending working and I heard from a mentor that in order to be and remain the full and rounded person I have to spend time doing my hobbies and it was so strange to hear but it was so true and I understand that in order to get motivated we have to actually spend some time and uh, 
do some fun things for ourselves. And going back to the first point about sleep, I recommend you to watch this video next where I discuss my findings about the sleep and uh, I'm a huge advocate of a good sleep now after reading this book Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker and I hope you will enjoy it and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!